Hey guys, I'm Avigat and in this video, I'll teach you about conditional statements or if else statements in Java. So first, I'm just going to show you the format about how you're supposed to write these if else statements. You have to write if followed by two brackets and within these brackets, you will write your condition. Then I'll have to write two curly brackets and you can do multiple things within these curly brackets. But in this video, I'll just teach you how you can print something using system.out.println basically what happens is if the condition in this if statement will be true then whatever you write in this print statement will be printed in the output window so let's say I want to print x but if this statement will be false then I'll have to print another statement and to write the alternate statement I'll have to use else so else again the same thing followed by two curly brackets but not these round brackets because you don't want to write a statement over here you're just giving an alternate so if this condition is true then this statement will be printed else if this condition is false then another statement will be printed let's say y so now i'll explain this using an example okay now we have to find whether a student is pass or failed so to do this i'll just create a variable first call it marks and I'll initialize it to let's say 80 then I'll have to write the if-else statement to see if the student is passed or failed based on these marks so if and over here I'll write the condition so let's say if marks greater than 50 then the student is passed but else if the marks are less than 50 then the student will be failed okay so the idea is quite simple let me just compile this and check if the code works void main and yes it shows passed because um, marks as you can see is 80 which is greater than 50 and because this condition is true then this statement is executed but if let's say um, the student's marks are 40 then this statement will be printed because the marks will be less than 50 and so this condition will be false let me check this in the output window so void main there it shows failed because the student's marks was below 50 so there can also be multiple conditions but i can't write that using if and else only so i'll have to use something called else if so now to explain this let me give you an example we need to find whether a number is positive, negative or zero. So to start off, I'll just create a variable. I'll call it num and um, I'll give it a positive value. So 10. Now I'll have to write if and in these brackets, I'll write the condition. So if the number is going to be greater than zero, then I will print that it's a positive number else if if the number is double equal to zero that means if the number is zero then i will print zero and lastly else if the number is not positive or zero then the number will definitely be negative okay so this is going to be the program but you might be wondering what this double equals to is and what's the difference between a single equals to sign so a single equal to sign is used when we are giving a value to a variable as you can see over here so when we're saying num is equal to 10 but a double equal to sign is used when we want to check if something is equal to another so in this case if num is equal to 0 so over here i'll use a double equal to sign if i want to check if the number is equal to 0 and yeah that's going to be my program now i'll just compile it and i'll check the output there it shows positive because the number over here is positive now let's say the number is zero compile it now i'll check this void main see the number is zero uh, let me take a negative number so negative nine compile void main there it shows negative so yeah that's it for this video hope you learned something new and if you did please don't forget to like the video Subscribe to our channel and see you later. Bye.